Hello everybody in YouTube and the world um, and welcome to a vocal tutorial of this song I wish every day could be like Christmas um, by Bon Jovi. Um, this is kind of special. I uh, usually only uh, make these tutorials for my patrons. Um, but since this is Christmas, you know, December is here um, and it's the season of giving, right? So uh, why not just share these ones? Um, I'm gonna be doing a few um, covers, Christmas covers um, this month. So this is the first one um, and uh, what I usually do here is we're gonna go through the whole video I'm going to be pausing through each the uh, parts um, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to demonstrate, show some uh, different things on how I sing, what my thought process was during the recordings and so on. Right, so let's get started with the video. Whoa! So, like I often do, I started with some uh, improvisation, just playing around with the voice, which he also does in the original song. Um, but I kind of just fool around a little bit more than the original. Whoa! Just going up and down different scales. Um, let's continue. What time is it, baby? Is it that time again? And uh, we have a piano here. Mm. What time is it, baby? I'm not a good uh, keyboard player, so don't expect any super special things going on here. It's just to kind of keep track where we are in terms of how high we sing, how low, stuff like this. So it starts very low, kind of speak level uh, pitch. And it just goes up kind of softly. And it goes up to F4, F sharp 4, and um, the volume kind of changed. So in the beginning, what time is it, baby? Is it that time again? I don't know if you can really hear um, the, the changes in volume. This is not the best setup here with um, the program and the uh, camera. I'm gonna be updating and uh, uh, fixing this setup as I move on with these uh, vocal tutorials as we learn and progress. Um, but so it's nice for dynamics. I always like to to use dy use dynamics when I sing um, to kind of follow the mood of the song. And this he also does in the original. So nothing kind of super special here. Uh, and this cover. I change a, a different, um, some melodies here and there, make it kind of my own, um, as we're gonna see throughout. Let's continue. When snow will be falling, friends will be calling, you know it's time away. So it's kind of the same pitch here, nothing special going on. There'll be careless singing, silent night. So here was the first kind of change I uh, thought of as I was practicing this song and going through, through it. Um, so what he does in the original, be careless singing, silent night. He does something like this, 
um, or maybe I'm mistaking I'm so used to my version now uh, anyway he does something else but I changed it to uh, like he's talking about the song Silent Night of course in the lyrics but I changed his mel melody to actually sing the the real melody in the Silent Night Silent Night Holy Night it comes the, in the background I added like three harmonies um, Silent Night so it's a very clean type of singing not nothing uh, out of the ordinary here no ah, no added edge and stuff like that I'm gonna go through that as well so still 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 staying uh, clean actually it's a bit a little bit of edge there Silent Night just adding ah, a little bit I love when they sing the feeling it brings it's warm as a fire is bright fire is bright so kind of playing around a bit with breathiness ah. um, and I'm also talking about th these things in earlier vocal tutorials um, so if you want if you enjoyed this type of videos I have more on my patreon site just sign up and the links are there I have three already and also earlier ones where I do like practice covers and stuff but let's not talk too much about that let's continue right here so now we're kind of moving more up in pitch Soon there'll be toys for the good girls and boys. And it's very clean still. Rainbow heading away. You can hey, you can add a little bit if you want, which I do on occasion. Yes and said I will come down the chimney above. Yes and said I will come down the chimney above. See the sand, I could sing, yes and Santa will come. I can do it cleanly, but I, I like to add that. Santa! Am. It kind of, you, you force air up and you tighten the throat when you do that. So you kind of find a balance of uh, how, how to find a nice sound. It doesn't hurt or pain or anything. It can tickle a bit as you're kind of warming up or trying this if you're not used to it. Even me, I've been doing it for a long time, so um, if I'm not warmed up or ready or something, it can tickle and itch a little bit, kind of before it gets all ready. So just add small, small, and then increase more as you get more warmed up. It could take 20 minutes, half hour, one hour, who knows? It's different from day to day. And I will come down the chimney above, there's one thing I So now we're going up, higher up to A4. There's one thing I wanted to say. Actually, to B4, um, Bon Jovi he stayed at A4 when he sung it in the original. And as I'm singing this, I'm I'm st I'm using this edginess, which I like to call it. There's one thing I wanted to say Instead of doing it cleanly There's one thing I wanted to say um, So if you want this type of power I would recommend s controlling it and mastering it cleanly first And then you can add more pressure as you're so getting used to singing cleanly these notes You know so you don't have to force it. Um, of course, there's gonna be a lot of force as you're building this strength. So you're gonna fail. I've, I've been through a lot of trial, trial and error while learning this. Um, but I would focus firstly on clean singing, of course, and then add more power from there. Say, I wish every day could be like Christmas. If I could have one wish come true. 
So nothing really special here in the singing. I wish every day could be like Christmas. So you kind of can play around with volume if you want and not staying at the same um, preference, of course, for me, uh, how I enjoy doing it. Um, and it's nothing really special here. I kind of go down in pitch. So we're down at this range. I kind of, this part here for me is kind of the, the mid range where it, things have been most difficult to master. Um, so he, down here. It's kind of speak level. It's kind of getting as you move up here, you kind of get into some type of area where you need like a if you can hear the voice is kind of becoming a bit fragile so you kind of have to you kind of have to push a little bit more to hold the, enough pressure um, to keep the chest voice right if you want to be singing in your chest there's nothing really special going on it's just the same um, type of neutral sound this is a head voice excuse me let me get some water here um, but anyway the the head voice is a very light type of singing I'm, I'm not pushing anything barely I'm I'm just playing around with these notes but if I were to be singing here with my chest voice it becomes very intense right uh, if you want to reach those notes so that's why I'm talking about chest and head voice um, but let's not get too much into this let's continue with the song I'm gonna be talking a lot about these things throughout vocal tutorials as I demonstrate um, but let's continue Wish every day could be Wish every day could be Do it cleanly But I add more, right? The edge Wish every day could be yeah. And the vibrato as well To make it more enjoyable, melodic, singable, right? Musical I wish every day could be like Christmas, I do. I do. And here I kind of use the head voice a bit. You can if you want, you don't have to. It's very light, right? The head voice is like a. Um, how to explain it? like the chest voice uh, and the head voice it loses the power of the vocal fold it, if these are the vocal folds when I'm speaking in the regular chest voice they're kind of thick producing a, a nice thick sound but if I'm speaking with my head voice if I'm speaking with my head voice then the vocal folds become very thin right they're barely touching. They're, they're producing a nice um, undisturbed note. So they are vibrating nicely if <laughs> these are vocal folds demonstration. So they're not like apart or fryish, you know. Oh, this is the fry when the vocal folds are not connected properly. But the head voice, but they're very weak weak right they're very thin but 
when I speak with my chest voice or sing powerfully, they become thick, they push together, right? Something like that, right? So what I do at the end here, every day could be like Christmas, I do, right? I could do, I do, I could have that full voice, but I do, do. kind of losing it, you know, dynamics again. child seat with all the Mr. Claus look him in the eye and he has no said what peace on earth was so it's nothing really out of the ordinary or if you compare to the first verse uh, look him in the eye and he has no said and he has no said like here you can play around again with volume Look him in the eye. Like you're going up and down, you're accenting different words if they're me very meaningful or you want to, you know, make something kind of um, more audible or impactful. Excuse me. And if you want to use the vibrato, um, don't overdo it you can if you want of course there's no rules to music you can do whatever you want um, but I like to like do it like peace on earth was was like you can do it in different ways but not on every uh, word well, peace on earth was don't overdo it you know just like it's like an accent right another type of Peace on earth was Now the old man grew cautious On how he would say And in the original they have a choir doing the background vocals um, So I was listening to those, I think it's two or three different, I couldn't really hear um, But I think I made two different um, harmonies On... Uh, see how the old man grew cautious and that Christmas morning that Christmas morning I think it's those two I'm doing on the harmony kind of cleanly right and uh, on how he would say say something like that on a4 was the high one how we would say on the lower one so you have e to f sharp and that was it i um, played around with different mixing techniques using some doubler effects and stuff to widen it um, kind of a delay effect short delay um, which I also have on the lead vocal, the delay effect, a short delay to kind of fill out the voice a bit more. Right now you're not going to hear the same type of mix in this mic what I'm speaking as what I have in the mix because this is recorded um, through another program. I'm not using the, the Abi Duet from Pro Tools. Um, but I will, like I said before, I will set up a better setup um, as I move on with this if people enjoy it I hope you guys do if you have any feedback on this type of vocal tutorials just comment below you know all feedback is helpful um, to learn and evolve let's continue that is the greatest gift one you could give every day and here is also a kind of out of the original melody I wanted to make it more impactful because I enjoyed this lyric that it's the greatest gift one you could give every day so you're kind of really feeling your stomach push there at the end it's 
pushing up, right? The diaphragm, the breathe muscles, they push up on the lungs to produce a lot of air pressure. Um, and of course, then you have to close the throat more. You have to hold the vocal folds together, right? So the air, it, you cannot really feel. Hey! If I sing like that and I hold my uh, hand here, I don't feel much air coming out because it's holding it so tightly. So you can even hold a note like that for very long. But that is like the muscles need to strengthen, right? Because there's a lot of breath pressure coming from down, from, you know, going up. Um, but you learn how to balance it and how much if you want to add this extra edge also. Um, but this is kind of different from the original. I wanted to um, go up a note. So it ends on A4, I think. Um, and yeah, that is it. Let's continue. And also, let me note that the harmony in the background E5, that high. Oh, C sharp, right? Every day! So it goes up kind of high with the full chest voice, right? It's not a... It's not a, a light. It's kind of, you know, becomes like a scream, right? From the head light. It turns into a monster, right? The more power you push. And here there are small details to add more dynamics in the second chorus. And if I could have one wish, instead of and if I could have one wish. So it goes up two notes. Um, I think the same one as well on. I wish every day could be. So it starts there instead of. I wish every day, I wish every day could be. So it starts on top and descends, right? Instead of going up. I Christmas. And if I could have one wish come true. I wish every day could be full of peace and hope. The head voice in the background there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. To fill out. I wish every day could be like Christmas. And the background vocals. I wish every day could be like Christmas. Something like that. Excuse me. And. Um, it's not very high, kind of low. There's another one, another harmony in there. It's not so high up in this mix. Maybe I will change this mix for the final video a slight bit, but it's still cool. So it's nice to have it kind of subtle, not be heardable, audible too much, right? Yes, I do. Um, and here also I kind of changed the melody up a bit from the original uh, at the end. And I'm adding a bit more edge here to make it more impactful, right? Kind of more aggressive. Um, now the mistletoes! And kind of overdoing the vibrato a bit. Um, just to make it a bit more, you know, whoa, what's going on? You know, oh, what's going on? Oh my God. In the house of love. Uh, let me see where I am at at the uh, melody. In the house of 
uh, and the house of lords instead of the original house of lords it goes down again i kind of wanted to build it up more a bit and the house of lords all the world seems at ease tonight and here i'm keeping the the placement of the uh, the sound kind of forward right is tonight you can feel it kind of high up right it's not to know it's not a low larynx you kind of have to go up a bit with the with the throat right to produce the is tonight can I become almost kind of nasally but still not too much right you find it the balance the more you sing um, And here, before we uh, jump into the high note, is why can't every day be? I'm not singing it like that, right? I'm not doing this clean. Is why can't every day? Uh, I'm adding a lot of edge, especially on why. You can also hear this on the original. Is why can't every day? And here you just kind of have to wing it, right? You don't want to close and hold the toe, don't want to make it kind of tight, you know? You have to why can't? You still have to push it out, you know? So as you're practicing this, you kind of have to just go for it, right? You cannot hold it in too much. Do like this thing, you're gonna close up the throat, nothing's gonna really come out. It's gonna be a lot of unnecessary tension and energy be wasted, right? Um, but if you're just starting off doing this, then of course you're gonna fall and get back up many times, right? You're gonna fail, you know, and, and make it, the success will come as you're doing this. So even if it sounds wrong or bad at first, it's still a, a success. You're still learning how not to do it, so you learn how to do it, right? As your only way to learn is to fail, right? That is how a baby learns to walk. Mm -hmm. so and here uh, in the original so bright you just do it like that stay here in the mid range which is really nice I enjoy it but I still wanted to do something kind of over the top a bit so I was as I was practicing this um, I was coming up with different melodies and this one goes up to C sharp 5, so it's not super high, like high pitch stuff. But it's still kind of powerful. That is the head voice, the light. So you can use this if you want to play around with these different melodies before you're kind of full on rec mode. You can play around with melodies with your head voice to kind of find how oh, this melody works. Um, and then you try it, you give all, right? Right! And maybe it's gonna distort the mic here. So I'm sorry if it do. Like, if I go backward here, maybe it's better. Right! It's, it's very loud here when you sing like this because, of course, when you push all this power up and hold it, you don't wanna close stuff in you want everything to go out right so you kind of have to visualize and imagine everything just flying you know like you're shooting a laser beam or something you know um, and it's um, it kind of you can mix in this edginess, edginess as well if you want which I kind of do um, and I found find that if I do too much edge is gonna lose the, the 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 resonance kind of it's gonna become very um, growlish which can work but I, I enjoy more staying more on the clean side and adding just a bit of that uh, that sound you know the edge and then you find kind of how much you want to go um, 
on on different notes, right? <laughs> Same as the other choruses. Second one. I wish every day could be full of peace and harmony. And here also a bit different from the original. The same one. I wish every day could be. That is what he do does in the original. But then he goes down. Full of peace and harmony. He does uh, what he did in the first one. Uh, but I, I wanted to still, you know, add a little, uh, one last kind of power push point <laughs> part in this song. And I also, it took me a while before I could find a nice melody here, what worked. It took me a few days, I was recording different parts and trying things. Um, before I could find like, okay, now this is the melody I want to go for, for the final live vocal recording. So I think I did like maybe three or four live takes for a period of two or three days um, before I like found the the night the perfect one and the way I sing it for peace and harmony I don't use my head voice there it's not super high but it just hits a nice spot there for peace and harmony. Um, and I could sing like peace and harmony. I can do a a, a, a sound, but I still wanted the e a, a clean e there, um, and it turned out great. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's continue to the final part. Full of peace and harmony. I wish every day could be like Christmas. Here I kind of messed up or failed a bit on the descending part. I do. It kind of goes down like a, a staircase, staircase, right? Like you're climbing down a ladder. I do. It kind of goes on different parts. So you kind of have to be very careful um, to hit each note uh, right. Here it was a bit wo wobbly. Um, but it was still decent. And the other parts were good, so I, I, I went with it. I thought it was nice enough. I do. Honest, I do. Oh yes, I do now. Oh yes, I do now. You see, I'm, I'm letting go of the power. Do now. Do now, it's, you know, it's, it's doing that chest to head voice thing with the vocal folds. Um, so try, play around with those. Um, oh yes, I do now. A very merry Christmas to you all. Every day. Every day be peaceful, joyful, happy, ever after, right? Um, so nothing really special there. Very Merry Christmas. Playing around with vibrato at the end. Um, you could do it clean, uh, straight, right? Very Merry Christmas. And it's just... Uh, like you're just jumping from different notes um, but I did some um, vocal tutorials on vibrato before so let's not push this long video any further I think I covered most things in this one hope you enjoyed it um, and uh, like I said let me know in the comments if you what you liked about it what you didn't like what I could be improving because I I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to be doing this for every video um, for a period of time and see if people enjoy it, if it's helpful, 
Um, and uh, yeah, so just tell me what you think, and I hope you uh, have a good day, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.